Hello, my name is Rosemary Waldrop. I'm going to read from my book, The Nick of Time. Looks like this. Which is one of the finalists for John Madeira's The Big Other Prize um, in Poetry. I'm going to read two poems. The first one is called Wanting. Wanting always the possibility of this body, thinking it here in anxiety, in fear, but wanting to want the light never to stop. Caught between wanting and acting, between language and landscape, wanting to contain volumes, multitudes, curves to everywhere, describing circles of light, flashes of lightning. Wanting the body visible from head to toe and without secret, a nakedness without depths, believing it possible, the light as event, thinking to want to think as if in response, doubting I love while knowing I've wanted to, thinking to console myself by describing veins in a block of marble, as if seeing a reason for seeing. Fearing to exist without really living, absence of body within the body, wanting to be able to suffer, to look at the dark, the mass of night that surrounds or is myself, thinking of the body, here without thinking, not knowing how to think, swimming without fatigue, as if without body, in a sea without water, without end. Doing. I often don't know what to do, or if I want to. Dawn has long broken while I still drag my feet in the mud inside my head, hope for coffee, make a B-flat moan, to prepare the plunge into action, or not. Maybe I want to cast only a passing shadow, feel like my mother's thank God when she took off her corset. But I am worried there's something I ought to be doing, afraid I'll die without having done anything. Realized myself, you call it, but wouldn't that just mean limited myself? A cement mixer stuck in one motion, even if it helps build a house? So I delude myself into thinking I'm doing something when thinking, or when descending into the night with the cat and the dreams of the cat. You say, no doing without sweat of the face, thorns and thistles, and bringing forth children. Should I look, instead of worrying about fine distinctions that escape my eyes? Listen instead of fretting about the size of my ears? But can I cultivate my garden without becoming a cabbage head? The hand gets ready to write. Could we not call this manual labor? Or a stage in the great work of rendering the corporeal cat incorporeal while giving her body to the bodiless word? Even if it's from despairing of my own body? You say, my writing is so slow it's more like gravitational condensation or dust gathering on the cleaning supplies. It's true, I'm dawdling as if I had time to watch the formation of geological layers, though night already seeps through my brittle bones. I certainly don't know what to do to end my days gracefully. But the body dies all through our life, thousands of cells every second, 
So everything should be very clear.